Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Bridge Builders of Diversity channel. Uh, Roberto and I talk about all things to do with people with disabilities. And I'm Sherry, I'm a mother of a child with Down syndrome. And Roberta, would you like to introduce yourself? I would love to introduce myself. I'm Roberta, obviously, and I'm a special education teacher. And you know what I've been thinking about a lot lately? You know, words matter. Yes, they do. Words do matter. And we have uh, today is April 2nd, which is uh, Autism Awareness Day. Well, you know, Sherry, I was just reading like I do when I get interested in something because I noticed um, that an organization that I follow in Connecticut that advocates for people with autism has changed the name of their celebration from Autism Awareness Day to Autism Acceptance Day. And of course that made me curious. Mm -hmm. So I did a tiny Google search and it wasn't extensive by any means. And I found a little history. Oh, wow. What is it? I know, I know you love history. Yes. In 1970, the, uh, there was, the Autism Society was founded. And their mission was to ensure that all affected by autism, and I'm going to read this because I want to get it right. I just loved it so much. We're able to achieve the highest quality of life possible. And so I think back to 1970 and what we knew about autism probably fit in a thimble. Yeah. Oh, you can't see it with my background screen. Here it is. Probably <laughs> fit in a thimble. That's how much we knew about autism, we know so much more now. And then I remembered, I got to see a young man who is a comedian who also has autism. Because when we use person first language, I wouldn't re refer to him as the autistic man because there's a lot more to him than just his being autistic, but I digress. Why don't He's we tell comedian. people what person first language is, right? Well, let's let's give, do. All right. So person first language is to identify somebody by their name and not their disability. So saying autistic man, you would want to reverse that saying the man who has autism. Maybe give him some other identifier like the comedian. And that's who I saw. I saw a young man, a comedian who has autism. And he told his opening joke went like this. I saw all the ribbons in the parking lot, the awareness ribbons, and everyone nods their heads. And he goes, okay, we're all aware. Now, what are we gonna do? Right. And that was so many years ago, but I still think about that all the time. Then I find out that many organizations are changing their April celebrations to Autism Acceptance Day. And I thought, wow, that is a great idea. But you know what I wanted to know? Where did it come from? Yes, where did it come from? Let me just give you a little more history. So okay. in 1970, the Autism Society started their campaign to make sure that people lived the highest quality of life possible. Then in 2007, the United Nations made April 2nd World Autism Awareness Day. So there was a little gap in time. Now we have Autism Awareness Day and a self-advocacy group called the Autism Self-Advocacy Network has made it a campaign to change the name from autism acceptance to autism and I mean, from autism awareness to autism acceptance, because their mission is to create a more welcoming community for people with autism spectrum disorders. Oh, wow. Nice. Very interesting. So words really do matter because, yes, we are all aware, but what are we going to do? Right. Let's We're just all treat people with, with dignity and respect. Let's do that. Yeah. I like that idea. That's how I always live my life to that when principle. When you see someone who's a little different, mm -hmm. reach out and say hi, get to know them. Right. 
ask them if before you just rush in and help someone, you see someone with a mobility issue, before you rush in and help them and ex it, communicating the idea that they can't help themselves, say something to the effect of, can I help you? Mm -hmm. I, I've or, done that uh, many times. And uh, sometimes they say yes. And sometimes they're like, no, I got it. I know I got it. Or cool. one of my friends always says it this way. She says, it would be my pleasure to help you. And I, I really like that. Yeah. It would be my pleasure to help you. I, so I've started trying to remember that mm -hmm. because words, they matter. And how mm -hmm. you say something matters to people. Yeah. Just be thoughtful. Let's do that. Yeah. So on this World Autism Acceptance Day, let's be accepting. Yeah. Let's be mindful and just be respectful. I, extend the same respect to a person with disabilities that you would want for yourself or maybe even better. Cause I, I know I take a lot of, I take a lot of disrespect. <laughs> well, if you like our content, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. So you'll be notified, hit that bell notification when we send out uh, our weekly videos. And um, anything else, Roberta, before we go? You might learn something. If there's anything that you want to know more about, we would love to do our, our little bit of research and find out. If you want to know where an idea came from or oh, yeah, comment on our videos, we'll... what's going on, leave us a comment. And hey, there was something you liked or didn't like. We'll read those comments too, because we like comments. So <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Remember, we appreciate you. Absolutely, guys. We appreciate you. Bye-bye.